Okay, so hi guys, it's Miss Lollipop and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. What we dreaming? Are we dreaming? What we dreaming? Are we dreaming? Since I could remember That told me I had to be within the lines of two degrees and nine to five and So I am so excited to be bringing this series back. Holy shit, it has been so long since I've played this household and I am really really excited. So I want to go ahead and like give you guys the whole game plan of what's going to be going on. So if we go ahead and like catch up on everything that's happened in the last few episodes in case you guys have missed any. Um, so far Kelsey is four days away from aging up into a elder. So we've only got four days to get her pregnant or else she, um, she is not going to be having another baby. So we've only got four days to get her pregnant or else Amber is going to be the one who's taking over the next generation. So obviously I'm still happy with Amber taking over the next generation. She is cute as hell. She's so cute. I definitely think this should be a really good um, potential monarch as the second season. Um, but mainly I'm just really excited to obviously get kicked off with uh, season two of this LP and sort of start from the beginning again. Because I don't know what I want. Um, I don't know what I want the sim to do. I don't know what I want like each monarch to do. So for the next generation, I'm kind of excited to do something different to baking and like and gardening i want to do something a little bit different but i'm not too sure what i've got planned just yet i think it will depend on which sim actually takes over will depend on what they do um whatever sort of traits they've got or whatever sort of personality they've got will probably end up finding something to suit it so we'll end up playing it by ear anyways um but yeah that is the game plan obviously currently we've got a full household so we've got one two three four five six seven eight so we need one of the babies uh, or sorry some of the children to get out so right now we need noah and austin um to actually move out so in terms of their grades, they're currently B students, but they have already got their skills to level three. So they are ready to move out as long as they hit A grades in school. Um, and actually one of the boys hasn't done their homework and he's going to work, he's going to school without doing his homework, but that is fine. They actually do need to go. So all the kids actually do need to like wake themselves up because they all need to be going to school. Okay, right, they're gone. Right, so we do have obviously the toddlers. Now these toddlers can't actually take over the next generation because they are all vampires or both of them are vampires basically. So although they count towards two, like two, they count as two people, like they count as two like counts in the in the 100 baby challenge towards the like towards the goal of 100 babies they're not going to be potential monarchs but they are going to be taking over so yeah the next generation will be moving on to amber who is choosing to take a shower instead of going to school which was literally me back in the day i would much rather have a shower than go to school but babes okay you're clean now you can, in fact she didn't even get clean she's actually still dirty oh it's because the icky funny it probably <laughs> wasn't helping anyway she is going off um kelsey obviously had a massive night last night because she did do the whole reunion it was a really really big deal to be able to see everybody and i tell you what that was really fun just having everybody here oh my god my girl is ripped look at her legs holy crap all that yoga <laughs> i need to get out and do some yoga apparently <laughs> if that's what it does to your legs i need to go do some yoga <laughs> but um yeah, I tell you what, let's let's start making up some food. So what was what was we made here? We we're making apple pie just there. Okay, let's go ahead and finish that off. Um, and then we'll also cook up a grand meal of some grand breakfast. And then we'll also cook up maybe some to uh let's actually yeah let's do tofurkey dinner um, and then that way we've got like a mixture of different things like you know meals for people to prep so there, there might be a, you know a lot of cuts in this episode because i am going to try and push through as many uh days as possible because i do want to try to um make sure that either the next episode or the next uh, episode <laughs> english hello have you escaped me um the episode after this one or the episode after that one um i do want to be the first episode of the second season because i'm really really excited just to move on um but obviously we will need to do like a middle episode like between the two seasons so that like this is technically season one of the 100 baby challenge like the season that we're on right now and then there'll be like a break um and then there'll be like a recap episode of like us getting all the kids out it'll probably be like a live stream or something in the end where we actually get all the kids moved out um and obviously the monarch um like the next generation monarch will need to be aged up to a young adult before we can continue the story so that will have to happen but that that will be happening in like a live stream or something so um austin's last math test was not his was not his best work babes i need you to move out so you need to start putting in some more effort he got a, a so so grade which could really bring down his average okay he needs to um ask to do some extra credit um he decides to provide austin with a little life lesson isn't it great when they do that austin learns 
that if he wants to get a better grade, he should just study harder first instead of crying about it afterwards. Oh my God, Austin, you're letting us down, honey. Sort it out, okay? Sort it out. So we kind of need to have her like meet a guy. Um, Okay, I don't really want her to go to like university or anything. She's literally gonna be aging up to an elder. I don't think this is really the time. Um, Yeah, so we need to have her. Um, We need to have her meet a man that obviously is gonna be the next potential suitor for having a baby because I would like to have her like already have a developed relationship. Why does it keep skipping to like, it keeps skipping to like, hello? Why is it doing that? Hello? I don't want it on speed three. I don't want speed three. I want speed one. Let me stay on one. Does anybody fancy telling me why it's doing this? Like it literally, I don't want speed three. I want speed one. Speed one. I'm not pressing that. Look, listen, this is me pressing my key on number one. Okay, stop now. Okay. <laughs> I love it how when I'm like trying to show you. No, it did it again. <laughs> did it. Oh my God. I don't know what's happening. Okay, right, so I'm back. So who would have thought it? In the last update that EA obviously came out with to fix all these bugs, they also introduced another bug, I believe, um, which is basically where when the maid comes, there's some sort of issue where the game skips to speed three. Don't have any idea why, is that, or, uh, why that happens, but either way, it's a bug that is now in the game that I had to download a mod to fix. So I had to download a mod to fix a bug. That was already in the game okay i think that's a bit of a joke but either way we're just gonna move on and pretend that it didn't happen and it's not ruining my life right now <laughs> it's not that bad i mean <laughs> come on but it's sort of a bit of a piss take considering obviously like you know that that should have fixed all the bug fixes and then yeah this patch is now breaking my game um so anyways right they are back and some of them have got um school projects actually all of them have got school projects and stuff to do so they did they all go to school in there under like oh my god they went in their pajamas you embarrassments okay we'll just come out and come grab some food okay uh, let me pull out some um, tofurkey dinner for everybody and I'm just going to go ahead and grab everybody some food because uh, to be honest everybody is pretty hungry so everybody can come and do with grabbing a little bit of food. Speaking of how are the toddlers? The toddlers they're basically good on sleep so I tell you what I'll have them come and grab some food as well. We'll let them come and join the party because I need to have them get up for a little while and then Kelsey is going to go find herself um, something to do today maybe you know getting the toddlers uh, potty trained or something like that she needs to work on doing something a little bit more productive uh we also need to go outside and take care of the garden because obviously the gardener came earlier which means that he you know weeds all the plants but we still need to go there and harvest all of it to get our moolah back so we'll go ahead and head out there and actually um sell everything we'll super sell in here um, we'll do a quick super sell over this side of the garden as well and then we'll also do a super sell outside so we'll get loads and loads of money for that stuff um and then what we're gonna do is focus on these two boys because these two boys are obviously the ones that we need to actually get out of the house um because right now you know they are like not not doing too great they obviously didn't do too great at school today did they um so either way they need to make sure we do that we need to make sure that we have them do their homework and then also they brought home some school projects so as long as we have them do those school projects we'll probably be gucci um okay right these ones th i'll tell you what i'm just gonna sell these because it clear it's clear that like nobody's using them just yet so i'll go ahead and like throw those out and then pop the new ones down for each of the boys oh my god i really hope i don't like that when i'm tired <laughs> that's why you got concealed for girls okay <laughs> um right okay let's go ahead and put these guys to bed he's gonna need a shower he's actually quite good you know what like he's not our worry um, but he does need his homework done, so we'll go ahead and have a do that. Amber, of course, she's quite good. She does need a shower, though, so we'll tell you what, we'll go have her use her mama's shower, and then she can go watch some TV and sort of enjoy herself and stuff, and I'll just turn that off because everybody keeps turning on the fucking radio. Okay, I'm over it. Doing what I love. What does she love to do? Wait, wait, what personality trait did Slice of Life give her? Um, She is the nurturer. That is so true. She often found that supporting... Her, their loved one in their interests and activities it makes her happy oh my god that's such a kelsey thing to do you're so cute oh my god so wholesome and cute we love it um okay did she sell everything out here she did so you what let's go take care of the bees i think they are actually sleeping there they're currently really enraged so let's go and apply some mite treatment to them so they don't hate us um the babes are uh, you know in bed this shower isn't actually showering them like like they're in the shower and it's not actually cleaning them at all I'm gonna go ahead and cheat it out because technically it should be but for some reason this shower right here is broken like the girl stood in it earlier who was it amber amber stood in there to take a shower earlier and it didn't actually shower her at all so for some reason showering in these showers isn't working i don't know what's been broken like i thought there was this massive bug fix that fixed all these bugs and now like this is probably the first time that i properly played since the bug fixes have come out and everything's broken 
So clearly the bug fixes are not going great. <laughs> they're not doing so well. Um, and then when they wake up, um, they're going to work on their school projects so that they can take them into school tomorrow. And hopefully, um, if we have them work hard, they might end up getting an A either Tuesday or Wednesday. So two days time. As soon as they're young adults, they can move out. So that is when Kelsey needs to actually... Um, Kelsey is definitely going to need to have a baby daddy ready by that time. We're literally going to need to pop over his house and like go and like do the old deed with him. So that definitely needs to happen next up. So we're definitely going to focus on that in a little while. But she is trying to like go off, celebrate Esmeralda's birthday. What is their birthdays? No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, they're supposed to be aging up in like a day's time. Okay, well, I suppose to be honest, children are easier than toddlers. So like that's not as bad of me to worry about. Um, but she is currently on the potty. Um, I'm wondering is MC Command Center or whatever the, you know, remember I was having those issues where I had so many kids in my house that the game wasn't working. It basically just broke where I couldn't even like save the game. I'm wondering if it's event, like now been fixed and I can fit more than just like one child into the house. Oh, sorry, more than just eight people into the household. I don't know if that's actually been fixed just yet, but I would like it to be because, um, to be honest, I kind of get bored with just eight sims. Like, there's, there's just not enough to do, you know? I was so used to having, like, 12 sims or eight, like, 18 sims. I'm pretty sure at one point I only had, like, 20. So, like, no wonder the game broke. I mean, I'm not exactly angry about it. I deserved it, but... You know, it would have been nice to have a to have a chance and, you know, play around a bit. Because Kelsey now only has... Um, four days until she ages up, which I'm pretty sure tomorrow when it switches over, it'll be three days. So we need to find a baby daddy. So I tell you what, tomorrow, whilst all the kids are out of school, we're going to send Kelsey out to go find herself a baby daddy because we need to find one that's obviously good looking because this is the last chance for the babies to be good looking. You know what I'm saying? So Ashton's quite good. Ashton's quite a cutie. Ooh, okay. We've actually got some good choices here. No, we've actually got some good choices here. Okay, I think Ashton's probably the one. Ashton looks like looks like the the cutest out of the bunch. I hope he's not like an alien or anything. Here's when he turns up and he's actually an alien. But apparently she thinks he's attractive, so that's quite good. You know, like she's already got that going for him. Uh, we might send him a text and ask him to hang out later on tomorrow if he wants to go out for like dinner or something. We might ask him out on a date. Um, because I don't think Kelsey's ever actually properly been out on a date. She just calls guys out and then ends up banging them at the end, which technically I suppose is a date. You know, I is kind of a date like that. You know. I mean, I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Um, okay, right. Well, she never actually goes out and calls it a date, does she? She goes out and then she bangs them and then she takes all their child support money and then just leaves. So, like, is it really a date? You know, is it really enjoyable? Well, they think it's enjoyable at the time and then she locks them in by having a baby with them because she's not on birth control, I'll tell you that for sure. Um, if you guys enjoyed the fact that in the first season or at the start of the first season, Kelsey was struggling like a motherfucker, we're going to have that all completely repeated because um, I, I, I kid you not, we are going to struggle. We're going to struggle. We're going to have like a decent house, like 20 to 30,000, which is like starting, which is like 20,000 is like starting anyways, like what you get in The Sims when we start. So we'll probably have around the same sort of, you know, the, the same sort of money. Um, but I know that Kelsey, there is no way that Kelsey is going to let go of our house. So Kelsey will probably end up moving into like some, you know, a gorgeous mansion with some toy boy at some point later on in her life when she gets old, you know, when she's all old and crusty and wrinkly and her, you know, her lips. Are, okay, I'm going to stop. We don't need to talk about what her lips look like. <laughs> I'm not talking about those type of lips. Okay, we're just moving on. Um, yeah, so basically, um, yeah, we already know that she is going to, you know, be moving on with her life. So we're going to have her, we're going to have her, um, we're going to have her do that and keep her house and keep a lot of her money. And then that way, next generation, you know, they're going to, they're going to struggle. I want to see that. Um, in the meantime, this little girl is nearly up on her imagination skill. And then once she's finished, she can come and grab some food. I'll go ahead and grab her some grand breakfast out. She can come and grab some of that. Um, and then her sister, she's not even anywhere near hungry, so she can just work on that. Right, he's not in a good mood. I don't really care if he's desperate for fun. You know what's real fun? Going and working on school projects at like one o'clock in the morning in the pitch dark out here. Um, and it's really cold, you know, in the middle of winter. So just, you know, sit by the, sit by the fountain, work on that. You, I mean, you and your brother can talk if you want. I mean, I suppose you can, but ask for help with project oh they can actually assist each other well if he ends up finishing it early enough he can actually go help his brother and hopefully get it done um but right now he is working carefully on his project he's feeling quite relaxed he's in a good mood what um what personality trait is it given him so noah is actually a visionary which means he enjoys playing computers traveling he also enjoys um sports as well he enjoys education and writing which i could see that i, I could definitely see that what about his brother 
His brother is definitely more of an inspector, which means that he enjoys chess, um, like things that would require a lot of brain power. He must have a really high IQ. <laughs> so that's the difference between the boys, which is quite cool to know, like the different personalities that they've got. Um, okay, hopefully they get their projects done before it gets too late. Otherwise, I'm going to have to send them to school without their projects being finished. I don't know if they're actually supposed to just finish them all in one night. Probably not. It's supposed to be like a gradual thing. But I need them out pronto because I can't get Kelsey pregnant until they're out. Like, if I have to wait until they get out for them for her to get pregnant. So, realistically, I need them out, like, right now um, because Kelsey needs to get pregnant. Obviously, Kelsey does stop aging when she's pregnant. So, we are going to have to wait, like, three days for, what, for her to have a baby um so she's gonna need to work on that but um yeah definitely want to get her pregnant before this finishes okay noah has finished his school project quickly and extra credit has been awarded amazing okay right once they're finished eating i'm gonna have them go straight to bed because most of them are like real tired um and then they can wake up and then i'm pretty sure it's their birthday tomorrow which obviously you guys said don't worry about it if um if I don't manage to get the toddler skills up, you know, if I don't, then it's not the end of the world, which is good because, thank God, because it's definitely not going to happen. I don't think I'm going to get their potty skills up in time, but, you know, they, we'll just have them automatically age up. Okay, here we go. So his work has finished. How much extra credit has he been awarded? Like, literally nothing. Does he get awarded it when he goes to school? Or I don't really know how that works. Anyways, I'm going to send him to bed because he's, like, in a really bad mood as well. Uh, don't chat with your mum, okay? No time for that. Right, okay, she needs to go ahead and get ready and we're gonna go ask the baby daddy to come out it is five o'clock in the morning it is a little bit weird to ask him to go out at five o'clock in the morning which obviously we'll we end up going out at some point <laughs> but not just now we'll, we'll wait like for a few hours and maybe we'll ask him out for breakfast or something um that seems a little bit nicer to do and also go ahead and clean up okay right you know what his his fun is so low that i just know he's going to do terribly at school so i'm going to have him wake up to plan the computer just before he goes to school and hopefully that will help him get his fun up a little bit honestly if kelsey was to come in right now he would be like waxed around the head with like a like a her slipper or something <laughs> this is so old school okay kelsey's not gonna hit her children okay but we get the idea so he needs to work on playing some computer games before he goes to school right and now he's got a rush on running off to school okay Right, I'm going to have all the kids work hard whilst they're at school today because actually they're all ready to get promotions or like, you know, go for a grade up um, as long as they've got their homework done and their skills up. So to be honest, they're all in like a good process to be able to get that done. Um, but it's just more of a case of their actual performance isn't all the way up there yet. So as long as we have them all work hard, they're all going to get where we want them to go. So we'll have them all study hard at school and then just hoping that they're going to come back with ace so the kids have just gone to school with their school projects did it work okay it did it did so it only happens like they only get the grade performance when they go to school that that kind of makes sense kelsey do not eat that oh she's feeling flirty which she's thinking about the first time she woohooed okay well that was a long time ago babes that was that was like millions of miles away like you know you had you had woohoo a long time ago honey right so we go ahead and ask that guy if he wants to go out on a date I definitely think we should. Right. Okay, we just arrived. He's a little young for Kelsey, but honestly, like she doesn't care. Fresh meat, you know, like it doesn't it doesn't matter where they came from. Like okay, well it does matter what age they are, okay? I'm joking people, okay? Like it does kind of matter like if they're if they're real young, it's not acceptable. But if you get what I mean, he's just like a little bit young. Like he's just like a young adult and Kelsey's obviously like an adult coming onto an elder. But I'm sure he won't mind, you know, maybe he likes a cougar and all that. So <laughs> let's invite him in um and go and request a table and get these guys some food right now since i know kelsey's it's, kelsey's gonna get the munchies and as soon as she gets the munchies and she's starving she's gonna start biting at him so wow she's already flirting with him she already wants to do the old deed with him babes you can't get pregnant just yet you cannot get pregnant just yet i mean we could have her do it just for fun hey kelsey one of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet them can uh, my daughter is asking me she can give out my number to somebody honestly my daughter's trying to hook me up with people sure give up my number i don't even care hopefully they're hot <laughs> let's see uh, oh my son's actually here hey jackson how are you hey ask about future plans you know have you got a job or anything got any kids um anyways we need to go ahead and grab that table and grab some food right make sure that all the kids are still studying hard they need to come out with good grades okay right we're gonna go ahead and grab a table she actually wants to go ice skating is there any ice skating places around here? I don't really think there's going to be an ice skating ring. Like, I mean, this this area so far, like, around here, 
Um, this like town is quite hot anyway, so I doubt that we're gonna be able to find somewhere to ice skate. Plus, any ice rink would just melt. Okay, never mind. I'm apparently I'm just a liar because this doesn't look like it's melting, does it? Who is this cute? Who is he? Who is he? He's a cutie. David Salim. He's a little bit older as well. I mean, they are some lips, but like, I don't, I don't mind it. I mean, he's he's hot, right? Hold on. Who do we prefer, David? Oh god, should we ever go like greet this guy? Is it weird to go and greet another guy while you're on a date with another guy? That's so weird. But I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna go have a, have a greet. Like, <laughs> um, okay. I tell you what. Let me um, let me let me have a look at this guy. Let me see how cute this guy is. Hold on, let's just get a close up on this guy as well. See, he is a little young. He is cute though. He definitely has more CC, but he's got he's got a set of lips. Like they are they are big. I'm kind of worried about the children. The children will just have like their children will just be lips like they're just their whole face will be lips okay what do you guys think do you guys think that david or um do you guys think that we should have you know our last set of babies that we're going to be having which will be the next generation do you think it should be with ashton or with david that is the question what do you guys what do you guys think about that do you who do you think it should be with i want to know your your final verdicts anyways um, but yeah, I'm gonna put a poll on this the end of this episode so you guys can vote who you think we should be with. Kelsey just literally nearly got run over. That was gonna be the end of this season if that car ran her over. She was real lucky. She just didn't even look. Um, whether you guys think we should be with Ashton or whether you guys think we should be with um, the other guy. In fact, let's see what Kelsey thinks about them. So David. David she thinks is attractive and Ashton she also thinks is attractive so it's not an issue of her having an issue with them finding her you know her finding them attractive she thinks both of them is pre are pretty attractive so there's no issue there but it's more of a case of who you guys think um who you guys think that we should end up having a baby with you know obviously we want the best um we want the best type of genetics we want the best style of genetics it's definitely vote based on who you think is going to give us the best genetics we, we need to you know we need to look out for that um, but I am going to have a, you know, flirt with him a little bit, find out if he's single, he is. We didn't really care anyways, you know, if you guys said that we were going to be with him, we was going to be with him. Um, but in the meantime, we'll go ahead and grab some food. I think we'll grab some grilled chicken for um, Kelsey and we'll grab some curry for him. We'll see if he can handle the spice because, babes, I am a spicy woman. <laughs> I mean, not that he wouldn't bang her, like, you know, it's she. As, as I said, maybe he's into cougars, you know? She's a little bit older. She's not an elder, though. Like, how old? how old is a cougar necessarily? I don't know. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and get to know him. She is really just trying to walk away. She is so bored that she'd come out to view summer old pickup truck out here. <laughs> Kelsey, don't be so rude. Come down here. Your food should be turning up soon. Okay, let's have her go sit down because um, this, this date's clearly going amazingly. It's going swimmingly. Could we like try flirting with this guy? She can just straight up ask for it. Wow, just have have the sexes. Okay, right. So I went and checked the kids. Um, I went and checked the kids like you know statuses at school. So right now, Austin. Oh, sorry, Noah. The other one's Austin. Noah is just off of being able to get an A in school today, which is really unfortunate because he's only got half an hour, which is really unlikely that he's actually going to get all the way up there. However, Austin, on the other hand, is actually um in the excellent bar, which means that he is ready to get an A, which is really unfortunate because it means he's going to come up with an A and his brother isn't, which means we're going to have to wait until Wednesday to actually get them aged up. So it's kind of annoying that both of them are going to come home with different grades. Um, unless somehow Noah manages to like whack it out of the bag and get um, a quick A in the next like 20 minutes of him being at school. Hopefully he can come up with a really good grade, but I don't know. Yeah, clearly Ashton can't handle it. You remember I was saying, see if he can handle the spice? He's literally like blowing it all over us over the table. So that's not, that's not, it's not going great though. Um, if you guys do a vote for, I tell you what, let's just put the vote in here because you guys are watching. Do you think that we should have a baby with Mr. Ashton McMahon or do you think we should have an option, uh, have a baby with David Salim? There's going to be an I in the top right hand corner of the video. So definitely go ahead and vote of which one you think we should have the baby with. Definitely pick one based on genetics. Cause obviously if we end up having a girl with one of these, ba with one of these baby daddies, they are going to be the next generation. So of course I would like them to be cute because obviously they're going to be the next like leader. They're going to be like the next monarch. They're going to be the person that we follow for the whole entire time so definitely pick somebody who's good okay guys just don't let me down here <laughs> so pick somebody that you think is good looking and you think would make the best children and we'll be dealt we'll be gucci here you know um okay right these guys have kissed they're in a good place that is amazing he's literally going in for a second kiss it's going all great here last exception love that okay right there their relationship's going well I'm just going to go ahead and end and pay for the meal now that they've kissed because that was all I was here for. Thank you. Came in for the smoochies and now I'm gone. 
Paid 24 smolians for that. It's not too bad. Okay. Right, we're just going to go ahead and say goodbye to him and um, leave it on off with him here. Um, and then we'll go ahead and find out what your guys' votes is in the next episode so we can go ahead and get her pregnant. So definitely the goal is to get Austin and Noah moved out by the end of this episode. So I tell you what, let's go home, have them do a bit, you know, a little bit of sleeping and then have them work on their homework and maybe do like some sort of project, like school project to get this, you know, they get their... Uh, school performance up so that when they come back from school tomorrow they'll be in a good place and then we can continue um on the next episode in a really really good position okay right so kelsey has just arrived home and i just realized that it's actually es esmeralda and victoria's um it's their birthdays today so i would like to try and get their skills up as quickly as possible i know we're probably not going to get them up to max level um but it would be nice if we could obviously have them potty train her so i tell you what kelsey is going to have the short end of the stick and actually going to have to go and potty train victoria hopefully doesn't get her hands dirty um Hopefully that all goes all okay. I'm having both of the teenagers actually head to bed since they are both in a really, really bad mood. Noah is obviously doing great because he's already got an A. Uh, sorry, not Noah. Austin is already doing great because he's already got an A in school. So he's already ready to age up. But I won't age him up until his brother's ready because, to be honest, they're both twins. It doesn't really make sense to age one up before the other. Um, but definitely Noah is going to need to do a little bit better in school tomorrow. So I want to have him work on a school project tonight so that when he goes back into school tomorrow, he's already going to be ready to, you know, get his promotion and get an A. And and then that way we can have them both age up tomorrow, move out, um, and then in the next episode we come back and then we get Kelsey pregnant and bam, second season. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm actually so ready to move on to the second season. I'm so excited. But um, yeah, definitely need to finish off like our story with Kelsey because I feel like her story isn't done. So definitely want like a nice little recap video with her, like a nice little video sort of overlooking um, season, um, season one. You know, it would be nice. Maybe, maybe, maybe. If I manage to get enough time, because I've got, you know, I've got a fair amount of time off um, over the next week, I might be able to have a look into doing like a recap video of the whole entire season, like going all the way from when we started off with Kelsey, downloading all my videos and cutting them together and seeing what I could do. I can't make any promises because honestly, it would take hours with all that footage that I've got. There's what, like 40 episodes of this and all of them are like, like some of them are an hour long each. So it would take a really, really long time to cut, but we will see. There are some funny parts of the episode. So I might go and do a short little recap, maybe like two minutes or so of like the funniest things that have happened throughout her life so that we can say goodbye to her. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have her stop potty training this kid and actually go and clean up a little bit because, you know, she can handle it on by herself. She can pee by herself, I'm sure. Um, in the meantime, we actually need to focus on the children because these guys are actually going to need to get moved out at some point. So next up is their skills to level four. So her skill is her motor skill, which is already building right now. So I'm just going to leave her to go and, you know, work on what she's doing. His skill that's already level three is his motor skill. So you know what? He can come out here and improve it by playing out in the jungle gym. Not the jungle gym, the monkey bars. Am I blind? Like, am I? I'm, I'm losing it. Um, and then the motor skill for her as well, which I think motor skill will have her maybe come out here and play on swing. Um, we'll go ahead and have a swing. I think that should be motor skill, but we will see. So once all of them have got their skills up to level four, they'll be ready to also get A's and age up in school as well. And then we can start getting everybody moved out, which is really sad, but um, definitely exciting to get everybody aged up and moved out of the house so that they can get on with their own lives. And obviously we can move on to this next generation. <clears throat> and then we should be good and we can move on. And then I'll be excited because these kids will be done but we do need to go ahead and give Esmeralda and um, Victoria a makeover in the next episode because they are going to be aging up to children in like just a second actually which uh, speaking of they are literally aging up just right now so sorry kids I was actually just gonna miss it okay hold on I, I won't miss one of you okay Victoria aged up first Love that. Victoria base what happened <gasps> oh my god look do you see this do you see oh my god what happened okay hold on right she has been given the restless trait which means that she may get fidgety if she doesn't have enough fun which is absolutely amazing right should we pull out siri siri pick a number between one and four it's three you hear that siri said it's three which means it's motor skill well that does make sense considering she's restless right okay right so that is um hold on hold on this is uh victoria victoria honey what's happening oh god unfortunate oh, soul don't worry we'll help we'll help <laughs> Okay, um, right, Esmeralda. She has been given the evil trait. Well, that definitely makes sense considering she's a vampire. You know, she could definitely be an evil vampire. Let's go ahead and choose her aspiration. Siri, pick a number between one and four. 
That would be three. Three again. Okay, she's also the motor skill. Okay, lovely. Um, we'll go ahead and select <laughs> that, and we have got our kids. Oh my god, guys. I mean, they're they're completely different, right? Like both of them are like real, real different. I mean, she she got the short end of the stick right here, didn't she? Wow. Okay, should we take him into? Let's take him into Crater Sim. I want to just see what they look like real quick because <laughs> I'm sure you guys are going to laugh at them. Oh my god, what happened to her? Oh god. Wait, no. No, no, she's not that bad. Wait, no. No, she's not even that bad. No, she's not that bad. Not at all. No, no, no. She's not that bad at all. Like, definitely, definitely needs some work. Like, this is just going to be like a mini makeover. She definitely needs something because that's not rocking it. But I'm gonna stick with the with the white with the bright white hair because I definitely like that on them. You know what? Not even that bad. Like I'm actually quite impressed. Like you know what? Like after a bit of CC, she did turn out pretty good. So not unhappy with Victoria at all. Um, I do need to go ahead and change it in here. Well, look at look how different she looks. What an unfortunate, what an unfortunate turn of events. Okay, let me just go ahead and sort her out. <laughs> okay, there we go. So with a bit with a bit of highlight and stuff, she's definitely looking good. I haven't given her like a clothing makeover, just like a hair and her like face because that needed some work. Um, on the other hand, let's have a look at her sister Esmeralda. Oh, Esmeralda! Fuck! What happened? Oh God! <sighs> no. <laughs> no. Oh god, what happened? What happened to her face? What's wrong with her eyes? Oh god, you did not get your sister's looks, did you? Okay, quick question. Can I change the kids, guys? Like, can I can I change what they look like? Because honestly, it's real unfortunate. Like, if her eyes were just like- I'm not saying like loads, but if I could just like- Just like that. Just like that, see? That's so much better. They said they're like this. Fuck. Okay, guys, what do I do? Can I keep her like this? Can, can I change her eyes just a little bit? Uh, like, have they gone wrong? Like, I think in some genetics, like in some way, the eyelashes just make it look worse. Holy crap. Um, Yeah, in some way, her genetics have just gone awry. Like, real wrong. Anyways, um, yeah, she, she's, she's, had, she's had an extreme makeover but it's not helped um yeah guys what do you think can i can i change them at all like can i give them any sort of changes go ahead and let me know what you think because honestly the babe needs it she needs it anyways we'll go ahead and leave them because i don't think i can stand looking at her face anymore <laughs> no, i'm joking she's not that bad but her eyes are just so droopy like it looks like my dog when he's like real tired god it was so unfortunate look at them victoria like you you are doing so well honey you are doing so well, and then look what happened. Why? Why did you let this happen? Why did your eyes do this, hmm? For God's sake, I'm so disappointed. Anyways, can we just hurry up and get these kids moved out? Because I'm, I'm just ready to move on, you know? I'm just ready for you guys to move on. He hasn't even got outside to start working on his project just yet. Okay, let's have him go outside. On the other hand, his brother's probably ready to wake up. I don't want him to sleep the whole day away. Otherwise, he's going to be real tired at school. So we'll have him go, use the toilet, have a shower. He um, could do with, like, socialising a little bit as well. So maybe have him go play some Blick Block and stuff. Yeah, I definitely would like um, Kelsey to come out here and help him with his project. So I'm going to go ahead and have him, uh, sorry, have her assist him with his project so that he can get it done quicker. And then that way he can go to sleep and then go to school in the morning and just get on with his life and stuff. Um, so we'll go ahead and have her actually um, sit down with him, see if he can, see if she can help him get his um, A grade at school tomorrow. She's getting a little tired, you know. Just imagine how tired he's been working on this project, yeah. Um... Right, okay, these girls are working their homework and then they should be ready soon. How long is this project going to take? Hopefully not too long. Guys, okay, let's just not waste our time talking. Let's just work on the skill, yeah? One thing that I can say that I'm really proud about Kelsey is the fact that she has such a good relationship with all of her kids. Like, if you go through and look at her relationship with all of her kids, I mean, maybe not some of them now, because obviously, like, you know, she's been away from them quite a while and she hasn't had, you know, time to build relationships with them. But if you generally look at her relationship when the kids moved out, she always had, like, a full relationship with the kids, which is really nice to think about, that she's always, you know, really, um, really had good relationship with her kids as, as they were growing up. So that is quite cute to, to see, you know. There we go. We'll go ahead and pop another project in here. That's a really nice one. I like this one. Who was it made by? Made by Noah. Okay. Who was this one made by? We actually can't see, but it was a scale replica of Mount 
and Fong, which routinely erupt, making it easy for scientific study. Hmm, okay. Um, speaking of, how are the kids doing with their homework? They all should be good. What's going on with you? She's feeling evil. Oh, no, she's not. She's feeling angry after an unpleasant conversation. Well, that's why nobody's sitting with you. Maybe it's because you're evil and your eyes are weird. Maybe that's why. No, that's not the reason why. It's probably just because you're evil, okay? They don't not like you because of your eyes. Your eyes are fine, honey, okay? They're fine. Until people say that I can fix it and then they're not fine and I will fix them for you. <laughs> So Kelsey has had a really, really long day, you know, going out, kissing boys and stuff. So she is actually going to head on off to sleep um, and she's going to head on off to go to sleep for the end of the day. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and do a cut until the kids get back from school tomorrow um, and we can see whether Noah, um, sorry, not Noah, Noah's doing fine. We'll see whether Austin manages to come out of school with the A that he has worked so hard for. And if they do manage to come out of that, we'll go ahead and get them aged up and get them moved out. Um, and then we can go ahead and wrap up the episode in just a second. So I'll go ahead and see you guys once they get back from school. Hey guys, guess what? You remember that whole entire time I was like, oh yeah, Austin's the one who hasn't got his A grade up. We need to work on his performance in school. It wasn't Austin that done the school project. Oh. So Noah was supposed to be doing the school project, but I accidentally had Austin do it. And actually Noah was the one who was supposed to do it to get his skill up. Oh, I'm so upset with myself. And now he hasn't got enough time to do it because otherwise he's going to be so tired at school tomorrow. So I'm actually just going to have to leave it. I can't believe I did that. You guys must have been shouting at me that whole entire time. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, I just got a notification saying it is Kelsey's birthday in a few days. Oh, it's gone. Oh my God. Kelsey, are you going to be an old lady? <laughs> So, would you just look at that? We just had Noah turn up from school and he finally managed to get an A. So it says his grade is up and he is now a high school A student. Oh my God, congratulations boys. Both of you are currently an A and obviously their relationship uh, or the character value, sorry. His responsibilities in the range and also his brother's responsibilities in the range as well. So both of them are ready to age up. So I tell you what, we're gonna go and actually have Austin go ahead and cook the boys up a cake we're gonna go and just grab a hamburger cake real quick we're gonna have him go and prepare that so we can get these boys aged up and moved out um to create two more room for you know some new babies um or like two more you know sections for some new babies as well um and we'll have to see how it is uh going and apparently one of our other daughters wants to give her number out so i tell you what we'll just go ahead and do that we will go ahead and add some birthday candles on this one and then we'll go ahead and have him actually age up. Let's go ahead and have Austin make a wish. Congratulations, Austin. He actually had his A grade first of all, so he he's a better brother. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you guys are going to think I'm so savage in this episode, honestly. Right, okay, he's ready to age up. He is going to be heading on out into the big wide world and his last trait. Okay, don't really care. His last trait is that he is a regained humanity. That doesn't make sense because he's not a vampire, so I'll go ahead and switch it for a cold acclimate, which means he's not affected as much by chilly weather, but can still feel the effects of it. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Wow, his body shape just really changed, didn't it? Wow, okay, he's looking, he's looking like Kelsey. He's got a booty. Holy crap, people. Look at that butt. Wow. Okay, that's that's something. Good job, babe. Um, apparently, he can look into university, but obviously, that's his decision if he wants to go ahead and do that later. We're actually going to have his brother come and add some birthday candles to it so he can age up. Um, and then we can also get Noah aged up as well. So go ahead and taste the frostings as well. Their mum's just coming to join them for their birthday. So this is really, really good. Here we go. He's going to go ahead and taste some frosting. And he will be our second child to age up. Oh my god, Kelsey's going to be pregnant again. Which which means that Amber, well, unless we don't have, unless we have another girl, um, Amber's gonna be the um, Amber's gonna be the next generation. If Kelsey ends up having a girl, then that girl will be the next generation leader. Um, and he's also artistian, um, artisan, artisan. I don't know what that means. These Sims love to make things by hand and become happy when working on crafts, which is really cute for him to do. So he is a little crafts boy, and these boys are now both young adults and can actually get moved out together. So I'm gonna go ahead and move them out. Um, and I'll tell you what, we'll get, we're just gonna go ahead and end the episode off here, and then I'll go ahead and move them out off camera. Um, so this is gonna be the last time that you guys will get a chance to see these boys actually in the household. So go ahead and wave goodbye. Um, of course, we're not seeing the around the town especially when we've moved on to the next generation so 
we'll go ahead and just move on to that as quickly as possible so as i said one more episode probably um one one or two more episodes before this season ends and then we'll go ahead and do a recap episode of everything that happened this season um and obviously like catching up with kelsey's life and you know like you know get finalizing everything um, it'll probably end up being like a live stream at some point um and then we'll go ahead and like you know regain and come back in season two with the next generation who will be a young adult at the time so i'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to you all so as always if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a like on the video and if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below and i get around to them as soon as i can and if you are new it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow and if you just want to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button you get notified every single time i upload which means you'll never miss one of my uploads and i believe that is everything definitely make sure to go ahead and vote in the top right hand corner in the eye so that you definitely get a chance to participate in the next baby daddy for the um for the you know the last you know for the potential monarch um that we continue on season two and yeah i hope you guys have an amazing day and i will speak to you all in the next episode and i love you all and i will speak to you later bye everyone